Hey, what's up? I'm Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and today I've got a really quick one for you. I just want to show you how to literally take any object that you have available and put it in the new particle systems and like how to quickly get into the particle system things and start making stuff really quickly and easily. So the, the first thing we're going to do, so if you take a look at this, we've got all my fun shapes here, which by the way, 50% off coupon down below to get these fun shapes. So it'll be $10 for 53 drag and drop shapes. shapes. And if you come in here and look at the um, well, they're pretty high poly actually. So that's one thing I want to say is like, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it's a little slow, but we can make millions. So if we take a look at this, this is actually an entire avection scene exploded out. And all of these are just made up. All these little dots are made up of our shapes here. And so you can see it takes like a second, but then boom. So it's just cool that you can have this and then come in and be like this close to it and realize that it's actually made up of all of these. And it works with cars, buildings, whatever. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up, how to do multiple colors and stuff with it, and then how to do a little bit of variance with it as well. Uh, so it's gonna be really quick uh, because I've got another tutorial coming out next week. This should be a pretty fun one. And then exciting news about a challenge coming very soon uh, with real prizes. It's gonna be kind of similar to Punisher's challenges. If you've seen those uh, compilations where they have like a bunch of renders together. Uh, the difference with mine is that anybody can win. Um, it's uh, basically, it's going to be raffle based. So, you know, more incentive, a lot of, I, I really want to make it available to people that are starting off in their journey and stuff. Cause a lot of the times that stuff, when you watch those, it's really intimidating and you're like, there's no way I'm going to win that. Well, you can win in mine. Um, uh, so there's going to be real prizes. There's going to be kit bash. is going to give a prize. CG hacks is going to give a prize. Pixel lab is going to give a prize. I'm talking to more people and as well as myself is going to give away training and stuff, including one premium membership to my course, which is a thousand dollar prize. Uh, so keep, keep, make sure to ring the bell and stay tuned and subscribe and stuff to figure out when that is going live and how to enter and, and partake in that. It's going to be free to you and it can be fun. I'll provide a scene. You'll make your own theme. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so let's get into creating this really cool thing really quickly. So if you want to get into the new particle system, the best way to do that is open up the asset browser, go to scenes, and then go to new capsules. And it's pretty much exclusively all new particle system things that are built in. So if you don't see it underneath the new stuff, like you're watching this a few months later or whatever, uh, just type in part and it's going to bring up all the particle ones that are available. And you can use this with cell division, breaking bullets, basically any of these at all. Uh, so what we're going to do, we can do the orb. Pretty cool, but we'll go ahead and do the pyro explosion. We'll go ahead and open that up. It's going to create a new scene for us. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Okay, so once we have the pyro evection scene open up, we can just come back here to uh, materials or models, whatever we want to do, and grab our Fixtron fun shapes or whatever models you want. It really does not matter. Uh, grab these. Boop. Again, these are on sale, 50% off. We'll just grab a couple of these, a couple of spheres, a couple of those. Uh, widgets, we'll do some of those. These, da -da -da -da. and uh, that. Boom. Okay. And if we take a look at these, let me zoom in on one of these real quick. Uh, you can see they are very high poly, right? It doesn't matter. I mean, it'll slow it down a little bit, but it'll be totally fine. So all you got to do is grab the redshift render tag here. Make sure it's set to custom object. And you just hold shift. And uh, I mean, so you click the little dropper, hold shift, and then shift click. Boom. There you go. Uh, now you can make sure you change that to random. So it's not going to be like sequential, obviously. And uh, that's it. So now when we hit play... We're going to get an explosion. It's going to cook like that. We need to add um, some light in our scene. We'll do a dome light real quick. Say HDRI. Go to media. And do something a little interesting with some color variants maybe. Go to my dome light. Grab it on. Drop it in. Boop. Close that. Yep. And now when we render this out. There we go. We'll go to... So we'll go to um, our camera real quick. Do we have a camera? Yes. It's a weird, we're going to create our own camera. I don't know what's going on with that. And we're going to go to display background. We're going to go to the background. We're going to override and we're just going to switch it to white. So I just want a white background. Create a new material. Actually, let's go in here and grab some materials from my materials pack. Oh, we'll just grab some plastics here. And we'll do like a blue and a teal. We'll throw it right on there. And a pink and maybe a white shiny yeah and another teal shiny and we'll just rotate between all of those boom 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 blue alt team peel i'm just mixing up my words there we go and now when we hit render on this uh we'll go ahead and hit play we can go ahead and undo this take this material off of that because we don't need that 
And a couple things you can do here. Uh, one, we'll go ahead and just make sure everything's just a little bit smaller. So we're going to scale everything down here by like point down to like point two. Whoops, point two. And that's just going to scale everything uniformly. Whatever you put in there, it doesn't matter. Or you can scale each shape individually. Um, but we have so many particles here that they're going to clip into each other. So obviously scaling them down is going to allow us to have, you know, less clipping in and more just like a ton of crazy particles. Now look at this. Okay, so we've got this cool dashy little particle and we zoom in here, right? And it's made up of all of these tiny things. Let's go ahead and turn the super sampling, whatever it's called, uh, off this view. Under sampling zero, there we go. And you can see we have, let's try to dock this here. There we go. We have all of these crazy cool shapes. Now I might've made it a little too small, but I just wanted to show off just like how you can literally do this. So you can make some really cool scenes, like, you know, some cool camera moves and stuff zooming in or whatever. You can have millions of this. It could be buildings, cars, plants, trees, whatever, products, whatever you want. And you just literally put them in the custom objects here and it works with all any of the scenes, okay? Now, another cool thing I want to make sure that you know how to do is inside the emitter of these objects, you have a few settings that can make this kind of extra random and fun. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go underneath the properties section of each of these, and we can change the velocity of all of them, uh, which we can change it to random. We can change the alignment to random. We can change the angular velocity to random. And we can go down here to the you can do color and stuff like that as well, but we'll go ahead and do radius and we'll go down the radius and we can make them all like a little bigger. We'll say a radius of one and a radiance variance of like 0.8. So some will be, it's like a random scale basically. So now on top of the fact that it's just a bunch of random shapes, we're also going to get them flying out and rotating in random things, which is just going to add and it plays so fast, right? So we'll go ahead and render this out because it's just doing pixels and all the geometry is coming in at render time so we're able to have these very complicated scenes and high poly objects and really it's going to work pretty fast and obviously yes they're these are way too high poly for this but you get some cool ideas of what you can do now obviously there's all kinds of things you can do with this i would obviously come in here go to optical and turn on some bokeh and like and you can say click to focus and just like click right here and it's going to focus right there for us so we can create these really cool amazing scenes like you could just literally let this be and let it flow past the camera It'd be really cool uh, but whatever you want to do you can see like the possibilities are endless with this and there's all kinds of cool particle systems and things you can do besides just the pyro eviction um the cool orb anything like that and it works across all of them again i can't stress that enough like you can just come in here to the scenes whatever I'll show you how quickly we can do that. We'll just grab the orb scene, drag it in, let it load, go back to our other scene and grab all of our widgets and our dome light. Why not copy that, go to the orb scene and paste it in. Now we're going to go to the particles here, turn that off, grab our particle group. And there's three particle groups this time. So we'll make sure that we take the, the material off each of those, but we're going to grab each of these particle groups, switch it to custom objects. And then again, just shift click this now we don't want the dome lights in there so we just want to make sure we have our widgets we're going to switch shit to random and again we can say like 0.2 for the scale and we should be good now we do want to make sure that that apply to all three of these and not just the one yep we're good to go so now basically if we come back here we hit play boop. we're going to get this crazy cool like this and we hit play on this and there we go i don't know why this is set to bucket render there we go. It's all the render settings are weird across all these things, but um, that's it. So now if you zoom in on this, you can see we probably didn't need to scale it down. So let's go ahead and grab each of these and scale it back up to one. And, but you can see already that it is, in fact, all of our shapes. And so this is why you would want to come in here to each of these mesh emitters all at once and just change this to random if you wanted to. Random, 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 blah, 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 just like that. Cut the radius one and one, sure. And hit play. 0.2 seems to be a pretty cool scale. But yes, yeah, so now we have this ball of all of our objects. Now, obviously, you could do this with whatever you created. You could do skulls. I don't know why my brain went there. I've been playing too much Diablo. Um, but there we go. 
Uh, you could do whatever you wanted. And it makes these really cool shapes. And obviously we can zoom in here and inside of our, oh Lord, inside of our sphere, we have this, all kinds of stuff going on. We don't have a ton of light in there, but you can see we just have these tons of these shapes. You could do satellites, you could do info points, whatever you wanted to do. You like to sell, sell your cell phone. I don't know. We could turn off the sphere if you wanted to really. And we just have a ball of, of shapes flowing around. So you can just lock in your camera up close with the full screen. Obviously we changed the background of this one, but you get the idea. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed that and now understand like some quick ways to easily create random size and stuff in these particles, where to find them in the asset browser and how to quickly add whatever you want into them to create some really cool, fun animations and stuff. Pretty fun one to mess around with and stuff. Again, uh, keep a lookout for the tutorial coming next week as well as the info on the challenge. Be sure to join the Discord and check out the Fun Shape Pack coupon below as well as the Mind Emotion Workshop and all nine of the courses that are available individually as well if you want to learn Redshift and C4D. See you next time.